Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is our reading for the remainder of May. It is actually May 24th and we're looking at the energy from today to the rest of this month and we're going to see what's coming up for us as a collective energy. Of course, everybody's experiencing things differently, but one of the things that we are actually all simultaneously working on is healing wounds, healing trauma, healing old ancestral patterns. And if you're listening to this, you are probably in the family, maybe the person who is going to be healing the generational wounds that show up typically seven generations. And there's always one human in the family that decides or, you know, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my God. Um, volunteers with God to be the person to break, to break the spell is what I'm actually hearing, but to break the wounds and the traumas that go on within the family. So we're going to see what shows up for us and that may or may not resonate with you. And whatever comes through these cards today, take what resonates and let go of the rest. And we're just going to call upon God and the Archangels Michael and Raphael, Gabriel and Uriel, and all of the other Archangels that I work with and see what pops up today. So I'm going to pull three cards for us right now and start out and see where we're at. Okay. So what we have here today is sadness. And that is basically one of the main generational wounds and collective wounds that we are healing. We all have a level of sadness. Maybe it is grief, things that are lost or people that have left our lives. But it's also this sense of the whole world has changed. So there's grieving over that. What we knew to be true is not. And there is so much sadness that is being healed and it may not even be from your personal life but it could also be a collective thing where it's time for us to make changes changes are being made whether we like it or not and there are certain things and situations in our lives that are causing us to just be sad i think that the pandemic also made a lot of people feel lonely and sad and this card is coming up because that is something else that is being healed for so many. Um, just be gentle with yourself. Everybody's going through it differently. And my recommendation is when you're out in the world, put yourself in a shield, a gentle shield to protect you. But you want to always keep your heart open. You don't want to close off your heart. So can you put this shield around you for protection? But be kind and be gentle to yourself and everyone else. Is Sadness sometimes shows up as anger initially. So if you're driving on the roads, I'm sure you're seeing a lot more people are just angry. Or even not just on the road, but in general, walking in the streets. Be gentle with yourself. And when you are you know, sending love out there, the energy, the vibration of love out there, it does come back to you, first of all. But secondly, it just helps. It helps other people, whether you realize it or not, because everything is energy. And even if you put out this simple, just sense of love out there, or if you see someone feel that, you know, if you're an empath or you're not, but you're feeling people's like emotions and feelings, just sense and feel and send out a little bit of love because that does actually help others, even if it's not something that's tangible. Now we have two other cards here and it is the strength card. And then we have the sun card. So for reading these cards, first thing I wanna say is the upside down cards mean pay attention, okay? So these two are key and important, but also past, present, future. We are in this energy of a sadness, um, 
traumas being healed. The more awakened and aware that you are, the more you can say, yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, I'm working through it. Not everybody may even be aware of this, but that's okay. Because whoever's doing the work is collectively helping the collective as a whole. We're stepping into, though, this energy now present, which is of courage. It takes a lot of courage to do spiritual work, especially in today's world, because it has been so pushed back. And I do believe that, you know, we can get down the rabbit hole, but basically whoever is behind the evil that has come up in our world is very well aware of metaphysics and everything being energy. And so it has purposefully been sent into society to say that all of this kind of work that we might do on ourselves is a load of BS, but it's not. We are a physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional human being. And we have to take care of all four of those bodies. And one of those bodies is the spiritual body. And that is the connection to your higher self. We are human beings and we all have a soul. And we all have this connection. And it does take courage to speak on this. And it does take courage to do the work. And a lot of times you just want to sit in your own space and you don't want to go out into the world because maybe people don't understand what you're experiencing or going through. But I'm here to say to you that there are more like-minded people than you realize. And when you sit quietly with yourself, one of the things you can ask for support on is sending you aligned, like-minded people. Because the more that you are aware that you have people that are are in alignment with you, that understand you, that get what you're saying or understand how you're feeling, the more you will have the strength to continue doing the work. If you look at the card, the woman is opening up the lion's mouth. Who would do that, right? That takes courage. But at the end of the day, this woman on this card knows that the, the lion is truly a gentle giant and she, she has the courage to do what she needs to do to open his mouth and whatever you need to do in your personal life you are being guided here with the strength card to say that yes i know it takes courage but you have what it takes and you can totally get through it and how do i know that because the next card is in the future position which is the sun and it's the angel of happiness and so this card is saying, when you do this work, when you continue this process, you're coming to this angel of happiness, the sun. The sun represents also clearing of darkness, clearing of the sadness and the grief. It's a positive card. So we may have started out in more of a low negative vibrational energy, but that is neither here nor there because it needed to happen. Things needed to be cleared. Things needed to be shown to us individually and collectively. And it takes a lot of strength to continue walking the path. But if you know, you know, and when you're in this space, it's always unknown. You don't know where you're going. That's why it takes courage. But from this particular reading, and hopefully you can hold in your heart that even though you don't know where you're going right now or where you're going to end up, it's going to be positive because the sun is coming. The sun is shining. And this is your stepping into happiness. We start out sad, we end up happy. What's better than that? So this is where we're at for the end of May 2023. Let's just ask Michael if he has any final words of wisdom for us in this message today. Okay. So he says, all is happening in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action. I will be here to help you every step of the way. And the action is walking through the doorway with courage 
to do all that you need to do to clear the sadness, to clear the wounds, the traumas, collectively watching it perhaps, and it's affecting you, and then individually do the work and ask Archangel Michael to support you. Because what's coming up again, upside down, pay attention, important card in the future is you will manifest what you need. Express gratitude as if your plans have already come to pass. Trust that your angels are bringing you the assistance you need. And the number 44 is all about the archangels working with you. So you are on the road to receive happiness. Don't stop. Take the action that you need to take to get to where you feel in your gut you need to be going. No matter, clear out all the noise, clear out all the chatter. Where do you want to go? What's the next step for you? What feels so right in your heart? That's the next step for you. Michael is with you. The archangels are with you. Everything is going to happen in divine timing. So no rushing. Be patient, have faith, and trust. And I hope that this message helped you. And we will speak soon. Bye-bye.